Hello and welcome to um, this module of Build Your Own Power App Solutions, which is focusing on Power BI. Let's just set up Power BI and what it actually is. Obviously, it's part of the Power Platform. Um, it's actually a separate service to the Power Platform. It's, it's a separate environment, um, but it is part of the Power Platform uh, solution. It integrates very tightly with Power Platform, um, but it is a separate um, it, it, so sort of you, you you can go and you can see Power Virtual Agents, AI Builder, and Power Apps and Power Automate all in the same interface. But to see Power BI, you need to go to a separate interface. But it is still part of of Power Platform. Indeed, it's a self service platform um, that allows you to um, uh, discover data, so f uh, um, import data, to uh, analyze it and visualize it, and share those visualizations with other people. Um, they are interactive and they're scalable um, and you can get data from lots and lots of different data sources. Um, there is a Windows desktop application for Power BI, which allows you to connect to data sources and prepare data sets for analysis and lets you do some really uh, uh, intelligent transformation and cleaning of data um, before you create the um, uh, before before you create the visualizations and the reports. Typical workflow is that you would use um, the desktop app to create these, uh, these, these reports which have tiles on them and the different reports and graphs and then you publish those to the Power BI service which is available on powerbi.com. What we're going to do is in, in our lab is we're going to uh, connect to Dataverse data source. Uh, what we can do is we can, uh, we, we, we did, there's a process called data modeling, which is cleaning and transforming the data. So the underlying tables in Dataverse have a very specific naming function, but we uh, like na uh, naming uh, protocol. So uh, that's, that's often not very human readable. So one example of how you can, with data modeling, is you can exclude certain columns, you can include columns, you can rename them, uh, you can uh, set different uh, data types, uh, you can filter data, like filter empty columns and things like that, uh, set a table structure and manage relationships between different, different types of data. In our lab, what we'll do is we will connect to Dataverse and then we'll then connect to another data source that's actually in Excel. So you can uh, 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 model the data from different data sources, clean it up, transform it, set the set the structures, uh, set the relationships up, um, and it uses a, um, uh, a, a a expression language called DAX data analysis expressions. It uses those to to manipulate the data. Why is this uh, cleanup and transformation actually required? Well, there's lots of reasons. Um, uh, and this sort of workflow is, is how you sort of get to it. First of all, you need to know about your available data. So where is that data living at the moment? Is it in Dataverse? Is it in a database, in a CSV file? Is it in an Excel file? Where is the data coming from that you're interested in? Uh, is there any reference data uh, that would be useful? In our example, we're gonna do in the labs where we've got a reference, data, uh, a reference table for manufacturers of equipment. So is there any other reference data you could link to that would be useful in it? Um, uh, how frequently does the data need to be refreshed? Does it need to be near real time? Uh, or can it be on a, on a schedule? Uh, how is the data related? So are there columns that from one source to another source you can link up the, the different data? Uh, what things do you not need? What things can you leave behind? So you've got to really look at your available data. Uh, and this is about understanding what, what data is available and what the requirements are for uh, that may be required in reporting. Uh, then from understand, understanding what that data is, you then go into data preparation and modeling where you're doing the filtering, you're creating these relationships, you're preparing that data for the next step, which is around visualization requirements for, for the business to consume. Uh, and this really is around uh, who is going to be consuming these. Uh, is some of the data secure? Like, do, uh, you know, are some of the rows here, you're dealing with salaries and things like that. Um, what insights do you expect? Why are you analyzing this data in the first place? Um, there's a feature built in for Q&A. Will, will the users be using that? Uh, 
Uh, any plans for mobile? Uh, the visualizations, how will they be consumed? Are they going to be in, embedded in a website? Are they going to be on an app? Uh, you can embed them into power apps and things like that. You can embed them onto intranets. Uh, how are the visualizations, go visualizations going to be consumed? Are they going to be on a report? You can you know, publish the PDF, that kind of thing. So from, from these two things, the four stages, understanding what data is available, preparing the data, and then you go into building the visualizations and then publishing them to the right place. And we're going to go through this workflow uh, in, in the lab. Um, just a little bit more on the, on the different components. So you've got your raw data underneath. You then have data flows, which pull data into data sets. Data sets, uh, so the raw data obviously has data sources. Uh, data flows pull data into data sets. Um, uh, data flows and data sets are, are, are fairly si are pretty similar. Um, uh, uh, apologies for that. Just got just got um, distracted. Um, so data sets and data flows. Uh, they, they share a lot of similarities. Uh, data sets uh, is the modeling of the data. Uh, it's the, the creating of the relationships, that kind of thing. That's the data model. And data flows is around the, um, uh, the extraction of the data. Uh, and, then, and then, of course, you have dashboards, interactive reports, and, 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 and paginated reports as well. So you have these different things. Now, um, uh, within the Power BI desktop application, you define the data sets. You can create these relationships. You can um, do lots of cool things. Uh, around building out these data sets and data models. You can create the visualizations and reports, uh, and then uh, uh, you, and, and also you can, you can, um, uh, uh, you, you can then go to Power BI. Power BI, uh, uh, you can set up the data flows to do the, 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 the data uh, extraction. You can consume data sets, but you can't create them. Um, you can create visualizations built upon those data sets. Uh, on powerbi.com uh, and of course you can create reports create uh, create tiles and dashboards uh, on on that uh, on on powerbi.com um, so data sets data sources managed mainly in the desktop application unless you are only consuming the data visualizations are the individual graphic, gra graphical representations of the data reports are combinations of visualizations and data sets which create tiles Tiles and dashboards can be dis can be displayed in model-driven apps, um, and tiles can be shown in Canvas apps as well. So there's a link here to uh, Power Apps, uh, in that you can show certain you can show tiles and dashboards in model-driven apps, and you can show tiles in Canvas apps. Um, we're going to in the lab. We'll see. We'll 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 play with these. There's. Uh, uh, so in da for data modeling, there's a, a query editor, um, which allows you to uh, add data sources, change data sources, choose and remove columns, um, set data types, lots of different things you can do inside there. Um, uh, you can also uh, manipulate the data inside, um, uh, uh, inside Power BI Desktop. Uh, so once you've once you've uh, so first thing is you 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 query your source data and you you prepare the the, the columns you prepare the data um, in query editor and then once you've uh, got your source data uh, sorted out you can then add different columns you can add different measures you can set uh, categories you can rename tables and columns uh, uh, um, uh, that's that's the next the next flow this is like transforming and cleaning the data the data. Um, uh, for the for the data type, um, uh, whole numbers, decimals, dates, date times, text, uh, URLs, lots of different data types that you can you can define, uh, and the data category, um, uh, you can define it as um, as a particular type of data. So, like if it's a location, a city, a, a zip code, um, a URL, you can you can let Power BI know what it is, and that gives you different uh, options. Like if it's a uh, if it's a location, then that will that will give you 
give you uh, ability to map uh, to map things, for example. Uh, you can also create relationships and, tab relationships and, ta and tables. Um, so you can um, uh, create different relationships between entities. It's incredibly useful when you've got data coming from different data sources. Uh, so in our lab, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Dataverse and we're going to link it to an Excel spreadsheet of data and create um, uh, create relationships there. And finally, of course, we then build out these visualizations, reports, and tiles based on the data. So th those are the sort of those four steps that we looked at before, where you have the um, uh, uh, understanding. Uh, data and, and available data and requirements. Well, that's query query editor, where you go into the source data, you're choosing the different columns and data types. Then data data preparation and modeling is all around the, the this this layer here, this data layer, uh, and then the relationships and tables. Uh, so query editor uh, is is uh, is here in the in the data section. Uh, you then go into the underlying data itself and add different columns and add different measures. Uh, then you can define the relationships and tables in this tab here. Uh, and then finally, you go into this tab to create the, the, the reports and visualizations that, um, uh, that the users want to consume. Um, there are lots of templates available. Um, uh, you can ask questions to build tiles. You can guide the user through asking questions. You can add slices for key fields for foot report level filtering. We'll, we'll add one of those. Um, you can use grids to show detail of data. Um, you can add lots of other different things uh, on there as well. And you, you will see this as we go through the lab. Um, publish to powerbi.com. You can publish the report. Uh, it's like a, a one-click exercise to publish the report. And then from within that Power BI service, you can then create dashboards and additional visual, visualizations, and you can share them as well uh, and uh, export to PowerPoint. We're not going to cover licensing in this particular uh, course. Uh, this is really just an overview of what Power BI can do, but there are certain licensing requirements for sharing and consuming reports um, that you may need to be aware of and do further research on. So with that, we're going to go into the hands-on lab. Um, so we'll see you in that section.